If you think you're owed a tax refund by the IRS, beware of a new scam. The IRS says that some people are receiving letters about unclaimed funds that uh, don't exist. This is just one way identity thieves are trying to access your information. Joining us now is Rafael Tulino of IRS, his spokesperson there. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. So let's start. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, thank you. Let's start by taking a little bit, talking a little bit about this fake letter itself. How does the scam work? Right, so this is a, a cardboard letter uh, being delivered by a delivery service uh, that says something in relation to your tax refund. And what it's asking for, if you open it, is sensitive information that the IRS would never ask you for, including, and this one's kind of odd, four different pictures of your driver's license. Huh. And so all these things, you know, SSNs, if you're getting the pictures of your DL, all those are probably used for the bad guys. Uh, for identity theft to do some bad things to your good name. Under no circumstances, the IRS reaching out out of the blue uh, via email, which is phishing, or text, which is smishing. And in this case, this very unusual tactic of sending a cardboard envelope uh, about your tax refund uninitiated. If you have questions about your tax refund, about it, where it is, how much it is, maybe you have questions about how big it is and why it's, you know, all these things. You can go to irs.gov and click on where's my refund or just call the agency. But we do not proactively send out information in any way, shape or form about tax refunds that you have on your account. Yeah, that cardboard uh, letter. I mean, that sounds pretty official. I can see I could fool some folks. So let's say that you have this phony letter. It has an IRS logo at the top and it looks legitimate. So what are the red flags to actually look out for with this scam? Right, so the telltale uh, signs of any scam, be it from IRS or any reputable agency, besides just asking you for information or demanding it of you, which we don't do, uh, you know, are bad punctuation and grammar, sentences that don't make sense, things that if you read it once or twice, you realize that doesn't make any sense what it's asking for. That's always a telltale sign. The other thing, like I say, is asking for personal, intrusive, sensitive information that you just know uh, uh, your antenna should go up and you don't want to provide it. If you think it might be legitimate, then you hang up and call back if it's a phone call or that kind of a thing. But don't just give away anything, especially sensitive information, just because somebody's asking for it or it's being requested of you. Well, we are seeing more and more of these scams lately. So what do people do if they are not expecting perhaps um, an IRS letter? And how do they know if it's real or not? Where should they go? Well, we do, we do send letters in the mail, millions of them, as a matter of fact. You don't know what one looks like if it's there, uh, but, you know, when, when it comes to you. But certainly un anything uninitiated that seems like it's like a survey or a probe or a refund in this case or anything like that, that should raise your antenna. And you should simply ignore the email and delete it or delete the text and move on from it. In this case, take a look at this thing and uh, just put it aside because it's not the IRS. It's a bad guy using the IRS as a lure, if you will to get you to provide that information for identity theft purposes for the most part. Well, thank you so much for the warning. We really appreciate your time. Rafael Tolino, IRS spokesperson. Hope you have a wonderful day and we appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.